Hey guys, this is Monica with The Roman Plans and today I am here in my new hourly planner from Erin Condren and we are going to set up the planner for 2023 to 2024. So I have the hourly planner in the Inspire version. This is the one that they recently came out with. So I have with me a bunch of stickers, some that I've created, some that I just have in my stash. Um, I've got some mod liners and pens. So we have pretty much everything <laughs> to get started, I hope. I've done a little bit of planning for this. So everything should come together pretty nicely, but we'll see. <laughs> so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take, I did a sticker for my name. So I'm just gonna put that in there. And that's the only thing that I'm going to do with this title page. I really love the vellum with this Inspire version. So I don't feel the need to do anything else with the title page. So that's all done. And then we have this pretty quotes page. It says, a beautiful day it begins with a positive mindset. And then we're going to go into the year at a glance. Now I'm going to be using the year at a glance in a little bit of a different way than I usually do. My daughter is actually starting school this year. So I'm going to put her school calendar here. And I went ahead and printed out some stickers. Um, I used my back to school kit, like one of the designs in there to kind of make this like a washi header and just to give it kind of like that school theme there we go and then also since i am not going to be using this planner from july to december of 2024 i am actually going to cover it up with sticker paper and then i saw um Samantha E. Miller, she used to be Happily a Housewife. She saw, did this idea, and she actually got the idea from Julie's plans to put a first day and a last day picture. So since I was already like cutting sticker paper to go over this, I decided that I would go ahead and put in like the first and the last day. Um, it, you can still see the calendar through it, but when the pictures go in there, you won't be able to see that. So that way I have a spot for my daughter's first day picture and her last day picture. And then on this side down here, I'm gonna go ahead and put the key. And to do that, I have, I have these transparent squares from Erin Condren. They came out with these with their monthly planner release and they have a colorful version like a wildflower version and then they have a version that has like foil squares to go around it. So I'm going to use the colorful version. I will say I wish these were circle because I have a much easier time with circle um, transparent squares and dots, transparent stickers than square stickers. So for the first day and the last day, I am going to do this pink color. And then I'm a sticker person. So if I can make a sticker for it, then I'm gonna do that. So I went ahead and just made like a first day, a last day sticker. So this purple color I'm gonna do as no school. I don't know if I will have enough of this color to do all of the no schools so some of them may end up being this purple color down here as we go through the year um because i just realized i don't know if i have enough for that <laughs> then i'm going to do this orange color and That is going to be half days. And 
and then I'm going to use this like green color, more like green teal kind of. And that is going to be for report cards. All right, so then I'm just going to go through and put everything down. All right, so that's all done. Um, I did have to go into the other purple, purple color just for that last week. And then this day is the last day and a half day. So I just kind of um, put both of those on there. So the year to glance is all done here. And then this is the 12 boxes page. I've decided to use it for like yearly stuff. So this is going to be stuff that I need to remember with the house, stuff that I, um, like birthdays that I'm going to be buying gifts for and like financial stuff, like subscriptions and things like that. So this is just things that I need to make sure that I keep track of because, um, I will need to do something for this event. So I'm going to use the stickers from my shop, the month stickers. And since this is a July start planner, I'm actually going to start with July here and then end with June. So that's all I'm going to do right now. I need to go back through and just make sure that I have my dates correct on a couple of things. So that's the only thing I'm going to do right now for this. And I'm going to leave this page blank. Technically, this page goes with July. However, I don't really use like this page for the next month. So I may end up putting my goals on this page for the years or doing something else. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with this page yet. And I'm not going to set up July. I um, have another video coming that I'm gonna be setting up July. We're gonna to move to the back of the planner. So these two pages, I'm actually gonna leave blank for right now um, because I am gonna fill up all of these note pages. I wanna leave these two blank in case there's something that comes up throughout the year that I wanna put on these pages. So these first two pages, I'm gonna do meal ideas. Now I do all of my meal planning in an app called Plan to Eat. I absolutely love it because I can um, I can import recipes from online or put my own recipes in there and then I can build my meal plan and it builds my shopping list for me. So, but I like to kind of have, even though I have most all of the recipes that we love in there, I kind of like to have a spot, well, I kind of want a spot to have just ideas for like breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and then also meal prep as well. Things that I can just meal prep for the week. So I'm going to grab so I made a title a sticker here and it's just meal ideas. I'm going to use these smaller dotted boxes from Planner Kate. I like these boxes, but I find myself not using them as much. So I want to go ahead and use them here. And I'm actually going to write in what I want to do here. Um, so I'm going to do breakfast and then we'll do lunch and then dinner. And then gonna do snacks. And then for this one, I'm gonna do a meal prep. So I'm just gonna put these here and then I'll leave some space for here, do lunch. And then I'm gonna do snacks on this. So I'm gonna do this on th this page because 
for these, I don't really have a ton of ideas. So this should be more than enough space to add throughout the year. And then for here, I'm going to put dinner. And then meal prep. I can actually move meal prep down. So that way I can kind of go through and see what our favorites are because some of our favorites are actually not in the app just because they're like simple, you know, like I just kind of throw something together. So that's what I'm going to do for this page. And I'll just fill this in with our favorites. And that way when I'm meal planning, if there's something that I'm just not really feeling in the app, then I can come here and get ideas there too. The next two pages are gonna be like workout and a uh, weight tracker. So I don't really have a goal of how many times that I wanna work out. This is more of, I wanna track how much I actually work out. I cut this, this is actually a hundred like hexagons. And so my goal is not, like I don't have a numerical goal of how much I wanna work out. This is more of just tracking how much I do. And this I had created for my note page trackers. So since I had already had this one with 100 created, I decided that I was just going to not, like it was already created, so why not use it? And so then I have this page of just like this colorful mid centuries washi from Planner Cake. And so I'm just going to put this down at the bottom because this is actually sized to have like the title and stuff above it. So it doesn't fill up the entire page. Cut this off. Okay. And then I can color that in throughout the year as I go. And let me see if the and I have these Doodle Girl stickers also from Planner Kate. So I'm just gonna put that one there. And that's kind of everything that I'm gonna do for this page. And then for this side, I'm gonna do a weight tracker. However, I'm not gonna do it the way I've seen like other people do it. And Honestly, that's because weight can fluctuate so much throughout the year. And so I kind of just want to see what my weight is each month. So what I'm going to do So I have these month stickers from my shop and then I have these two dotted boxes. So I'm going to do a box for my starting weight and then I'm going to do a box for every month. So at the end of that month, I can put in what my weight was. So I can see exactly how it fluctuated throughout the year. So for the starting box, I'm just going to put this here. For start. All right, so that is done. I'm actually gonna move this orange one over. There we go. And then, so then I can just come in at the end of each month and put in what my weight was and I can see how I'm making progress on that goal. So that is everything. Now these next two pages, these next two pages are gonna be gift ideas. And because 
I knew it was going to take a little bit for me to kind of size these out. I went ahead and sketched these with pencil. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the title and then color it in. So we're going to do gift ideas up here. And then I'm going to go ahead and just put this little gift box there. So I have six boxes and these are for different people. All right, so I've got six mod liners here, just in different colors. And so I'm going to color in the lines here and I'm actually gonna move this gift ideas up a little bit. All right, so these first three are gonna be for like my daughter, my husband and me. And then these other two are going to be for other people. And I was, I was going to get my ruler and try to like do exact lines. And, but you know what? I am going to embrace the imperfection here. And I am just going to go ahead and freehand these lines. I may regret it, but you know what? We're just going to go with it. All right. So I'm just going to color this in. And then I will erase the pencil so this box is going to be for my daughter so I'm just gonna put Michaela here and then this one's gonna be for my husband so then I'm gonna go in through here with this bigger tip and I'm gonna just write Victor And this bottom one is going to be me. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. So this first box is going to be for my family. So this is just gift ideas that I come across. Because a lot of times I'll come across something. I'm like, oh, that would be a really good gift idea for them and if it's on Amazon I'll just like I have a gift ideas list but a lot of times I will forget and then it'll get to their birthday or Christmas and I'm like what do I get these people who <laughs> what would be a good gift idea for them and so this is just a way that I can kind of keep track of it. And then that way, when it does get to be Christmas or whatever, I can come here and go, oh yeah, they mentioned that they would like this. So I'm gonna go ahead. So it makes the shopping a lot easier. And this last one is just going to be kind of a miscellaneous section. So this is going to be for friends. If I want to do something for my employees, anyone that's not part of the family, basically. So then I'm just going to put M-I-S-C here. So this just gives us a space, just gives me a space where if I, if they mention something or if I see something online that like, that would be a good gift idea for them, then I have a spot to put it. Okay. So this next section is going to be, um, a cleaning routine and house projects. And we're going to kind of do... So I went ahead and drew out the boxes. So I went ahead and drew out the boxes just so I wouldn't have to size everything out on camera. But for these, um, and this kind of came from both What Would Carrie Craft, I think is what her name is. 
<laughs> and then hand can plan um, on how I'm gonna do these. I'm gonna line these in black and then I'm gonna color in the top to be the header. So I, when I was scrolling Instagram for ideas, I really loved the look of that. So. I'm actually gonna grab my Papermate Flare to be, cause I want it to be a little bit thicker, but I don't want it to be as thick as the other side of the dual tip. So now that they're all lined, I'm just gonna go in with my mild liners and color them in. All right, so now that all of those are colored in, I'm just gonna put daily, monthly, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday. Friday and then weekend. So that is all done. So now we're going to move on to the house projects and we're going to do the exact same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and color um, do the black lines and color in the boxes. All right, so now I'm gonna put office. So then I'm gonna put our bedroom, Michaela's bedroom, the bathrooms, kitchen, laundry room, the living room. We're gonna put outside and then just miscellaneous. If there's something we think of that doesn't really fit in one of those categories for some reason, just miscellaneous plus it rounded out my number the way I wanted it to. <laughs> so that is all of the pages that I'm going to do. These next two pages are the Heritage and Awareness Observances and then the Let's Keep in Touch, the contact page. And I haven't really decided exactly what I'm gonna be doing with this, but I may be putting like my daughter's school information on here. I just don't know yet. So that, so we've got the house projects and the cleaning routine. And then we've got the gift ideas, the weight tracker and the workout tracker, the meal ideas, and then leaving these two blank just to give myself some flexibility. The year at a glance and the 12 boxes. So that's everything for setting up my planner. Now it's all set up, ready to go for July. Let me know if you have your planners set up so far and if you have notes pages, what you like to put in the back of your planner. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead, hit that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any more of my videos. I hope you have a great day.